there is a common misconception about a flare bartending that uh, our drinks don't taste good because you can see that right. uh, sometimes bartender flipping bottles and they're like just give me my drink it's the most common on my youtube channel where right. just give me my drink uh, it's like i don't need this show i just need a good drink and what they don't understand that we still keep the same quality drink and just right. try to do couple extra tricks for the attention. Right. I mean, it's actually yeah. more skill because exactly. not only do you have to keep yeah. we, the we, quality it, it, drink, the but then you're also doing a show. Exactly. Flare right. bartending should never slow down your service or should never, uh, you know, like people shouldn't wait for the drink. Of course, if the bar is busy, if it's three deep, we maybe will just do uh, this really quick or if we'll have time, do one simple trick like this and keep serving. Because, I mean, it's because it's the movie Cocktail that did a disservice kind of to the flare bartending thing, right? Because it made it popular. Yes. But then at the same time, like it, provi it provided like an unrealistic view of what it is, right? Yes, if you see uh, closely in the movie, uh, my friend John Bendy, he uh, uh, trains Tom Cruise for movie cocktail. Right. He's a great guy. And the thing is he was working uh, back then at the TGI Fridays. And right. the, the TGI Fridays- They're they serious about their flare. Yes, yeah. they didn't have like working flare thing though. They right. had only um, kind of like, quarter ounce maybe you know like half bottle exhibition flare that's why right. all the tricks you see in the movie they from you know like this kind of like competition style uh flare bartending right so the one it's not really that realistic so, like doing a routine with someone exactly, else and passing exactly. all these bottles around yeah again so like here's the difference to to make it really obvious for you guys right uh, let me show it to you maybe quick routine you can see that uh this bottle like this is um let's say half no quarter bottle and and then working flare is if you just step for a second so yep. like you could do a lot of cool tricks with a half full bottle but if you pay attention like right now look all the tricks i don't do like a full throw let's say one and then this is something advanced whoa, whoa. whoa so you see like this kind of like tricks and and then nothing really releases uh i mean i don't do full rotation because if you do that's like let's say if you do a single throw that's uh that's okay it doesn't doesn't spill anything but if you just do like need a little more water, <laughs> a little time. A little more water. <laughs> so like i'll show it to you so you kind of will get it like okay so this is uh one more time the tricks really quick working flare you take and then you do all kind of uh, flips but you don't do full rotation Whoa. so and then if you do full rotation watch out it's gonna spill so like you see right. all the spills you can't right. do that and this is what they did in a movie and it's just not realistic the working flare is uh something that uh, like I showed you the napkin maybe you do the right. glass and something where you, you don't do full rotation so basically it's designed to keep you dry to keep everyone dry and also to uh, <laughs> and also to look impressive but with shorter more concise moves for sure that's so that exactly you're like you're is. basically just doing a more logical more pared down approach that still looks really good yes it's definitely like uh, was designed to serve quickly with and then you take any bottle like you take a Hennessy bottle you just like maybe put a pool spot or something uh just put a pool spot and start flipping it right away without you know waiting until it's uh, like less than half full less, like right only quarter so full. wait so when you do flare you guys do it with a very specific amount of liquid in the bottle because the exhibition bottles, flare. they vary in, in, in no, size no, no. and that, shape that, that, and that, that, heaviness. And... Like the working flare is designed to use with any kind of bottles with any liquid. So you just like, um, let's say you take any bottle, like, like choose show me bottle. Like uh, Drambuie would be the toughest, I would think. That would be hard, wouldn't oh, it? Yeah, yeah, that would for sure. really so you see like, you, you basically, uh, what you can do, like, okay, you just right away look at the shape and you just, okay, it's still pretty good um, uh, bottom, so it's heavy. And then what you can do if it's in your uh, well or if it's behind a bar, you're like, okay, you don't have to do a lot of tricks. Maybe you can just do home little, um, you know, spin and then you open it and pour. pour right. The thing is, it's like, this is old style flare bartending where you use a pool spot. And now a lot more common, a lot more practical to just uh, do flare tricks with, um, 
all kind of objects and not touching bottles. Right. Because you don't want to flip bottles, close the bottle, it will look like, you know, circus and you don't want that. You still right. prefer to look very professional and that's why bartenders these days, they use more um, napkins, jigger and like other objects such as a bar spoon to still look really cool right but without flipping full bottles and right. that's exactly what we will learn with you now so right, let's, let's go it. to our second uh, trick will be what would you prefer jigger or the bar spoon i mean let's try the jigger dude let's because jigger. honestly i see i see you do this a lot but i see a lot of bartenders doing this really smooth just smooth, smooth, smooth jigger yeah. move yeah, and, yeah. and like that oh, is you, something you, that you could easily easily incorporate into any bar, it doesn't yeah. matter what bar you're in, and it looks like a million dollars every time. Here's like, the thing, here's the thing. So it's the really next cool. trick I'm gonna teach you, it's so universal. And what makes it really uh, practical that you will be able to use it with any objects. So let's start with just this um, simple grip. Like let's say, okay, you have two fingers piece, put it uh, like this, the other way, there you go. And then just grab the jig. So make sure it's like hanging there. And then you put it upside down, and this is already kind of trick. So you can pour, let's say, half ounce. This is your bottle, for example. This is your practice bottle. And then use it like, let's say, you can do palm pour. There you go. Like it's that? just, try just, to make yeah, it, you... yeah, there you go, there you go. Instead of moving it like this, so do, do like a full circle. One, two, always, yeah, there you go. One, pour. So, and pour. And that's and why, like, you gotta, you gotta do it really quick. Let's say, one, or so try, try, uh -huh, uh -huh. reverse, boom. But this is good. It's just, remember that we spoke earlier when we tried napkin, you need to learn how to sell, there you go. Right, sell, you yeah, yeah. sell it. So take it and then you like do the full rotation. There you go, much better. And the, the, it's, it's okay if you do, you're supposed to keep it in this area when is you do these this. fingers? No, 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 these uh, you did it right, yeah. Like this, one, there you go. So, and now let's go a little further. So this was really easy. And here's what we're gonna do. The same Japanese jigger, which you guys can, oh, sorry, this camera, you guys can do with any jiggers. Here's how it's gonna work. So you, you go like one, do it with me. And then, boom, bring it over. There oh. you go. There oh, you, you just, go. hold on. Yeah, so that, that, there you go, boom. And it's, it only takes just like 30 seconds to practice to make it really smooth. Uh, to make it look really smooth. So one and two. And yeah, try to do it without the stuff. That's the move. But this is just the beginning. You will be blown away. There you go. There yeah, you now go. I gotta learn how to put it together. But. Yeah, so just just find the best. You see, you grabbing it here and it's the hardest part. If you grab it here, it's a lot easier because there is nothing stopping, you oh, know? So yeah, yeah. like the, the, the further you take to the middle, the harder it will get. Oh! Uh, so and into man. the pour, and into the pour. So make sure that, there you go. One and two. Boom. This is very good, man. Very good. I'm very happy how <laughs> nice. it's going so far, but nice. check it out. What makes it really good? Let me just demonstrate to you for a second. So you will come home and then you grab your jigger and then at your bar, you try a few times. Okay, this is nice. You can do it like this, or you can just do it with a pour. And then eventually, so here's the variation. I'm gonna show it to you maybe 10 right now or so, but you get the idea that you will be able to do it just from this one basic move. So the first one, we learn this one. And then, okay, this is why not to do it with two jiggers. So you will be able to do with two, pam, pam, or then what, what, what also makes it very, very cool that once you start moving your objects like this in your fingers, you will be able to do all kind of, um, you, you will be able to do it with all kind of objects. So for example, uh, when, when you strain, you just like pam and do it like this. So like you will be able to just do pam, pam. So, before you like for example are you still water. holding it in the same yeah, yeah yeah so this is it this is this is the movement one two and then like this okay if it's just challenging you will get it in a minute it's all <laughs> just uh, uh muscle memory but um uh, so no no is that what you're doing you start like like this so palm palm there you go that's the beginning one two right. so you see you grab it chun, 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 quick so but but yeah i don't know you did right, yeah, Look, there you go. With these two fingers? Yeah, or was it these two fingers? No, 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 no. It's, this, it's always the, yeah, this is the start. Boom. Just don't don't make it look, there you go, just normal hand. <laughs> don't put your elbow out. 
<laughs> Got it. All right, I'll, I'll do my best. There, there, there's a, a lot cooler trick, which we definitely should learn right now. So let's say this is your half full bottle with a poor spot. And what you can do, just like, let's say this is your shaker where you need to pour or your jigger, choose anything. And here's what you're gonna do. Just like you did with the jigger, hold it like that. There you go. There you go. Yeah. One. You, you, you already got it. No, no, no. Keep going. So one into the shaker. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, take it. One. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the boy's got some skills. <laughs> so you see, like this is this is how it good make sure like okay let's say if this is your area where you pour and drink you just uh, do it this way so you grab it from the well reverse and then you hold it in this area so it wouldn't hit anything and then you kind of like safely do one and two one and two this is good this is good and then just like i want you to try first without liquid but with gloss kind of give you the confidence an so. idea of how yeah, yeah, heavy yeah, yeah, it will yeah. be because this is i don't know i mean it's it's sort of bottle it's, it's sort of the same weight right i mean yes ish, uh, uh, ish. dean sir Niels, he's the guy who created this uh, bottle plastic bottle as you can see vlad was flare, always flare very good at it. on a different level <laughs> that's why we were able to practice like crazy so try, try with them um, because with with post pot it will be more challenging that's why i want you to break something Oh, what? See, see, and now try <laughs> see how much easier with Jigger. Try to do the same move with Jigger. Kind of rough, but. Yeah, okay. No, but it is it's so close. And you've been just doing it like what, not even 10 times. Right. Boom. See, because when you practice flare bartending, uh, th that's the new kind of style that you, your goal is to do some cool, smooth tricks without even releasing from your hands. Right. Because, for example, this trick. It looks pretty impressive for your guests and for everyone, but it takes only one minute to learn. However, if you decide to do like the old trick where you just like, let's say, pour and how bartenders do flip behind the back, it's a very hard trick. And it takes hard, so yeah. much time to learn it, but it's pointless because your, your guests, they don't see the difference between hard tricks or the easy tricks. Right. That's why what you should do, just try to do all kind of like a, a routines, like for example, palm, palm, do the... Uh, trick and then you do the pour so and then we will learn next video with the spoon that's why just try to be smooth and impress right. without releasing objects from your hands <laughs> that's what so it basically, is basically so. try to be smooth try to be cool smile don't look at what you're doing and don't hurt anybody <laughs> that's yeah, basically yeah, that's, what that's we're what trying to is, do yeah. here <laughs> um, cool so Let's go with more more tricks, or you want to just kind of try one more time with the liquid no, I, with I, this one. No, this we can one. we can move on. No, no, no. Let, I, I let's was, see, I was let's really... see first how real you are and then how determined you are because this one is like let's say half bottle of vodka. Let's see if you really got the concept of pouring it. Yeah. It's a little different. I knew that. With, that's with, why I asked you to do it. Oh, without spill, dude, without spill. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. One. Oh, close. So close. close. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you see, uh, we never, nobody likes spills. That's why well, right. you, should yeah, definitely, no. you should definitely work on things like, let's say, perfect cuts. People are giving me on YouTube for saying this cut, cut a lot of time. That's why I think when you pour like this, it's really important to practice this kind yeah. of I think I, I, I think one, that I two, can cut. And especially when you just did this one, the same way. So when you do, boom, you kind of do right. the cut and then you bring it back. So try. Like I think I've poured enough. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh, do the my reverse. cuts are a disaster. Lost, lost it. Yeah, lost it. I have behind a bar in a year and it's gone now. Yeah, I oh. thought it was like riding a bike. All right. <laughs> Okay. And here's the thing, when you... Um, ah. I lost all my skill. I think really important to also learn cuts because uh, here's the variations that you can do and do one, variation number one, cut into the other one, oh, and cut. cut. So yeah. that's why it looks beautiful. That's exactly what your guests want to see. So it's not really showing off, it's just showing beautiful work. 
There you go. There you go. It's one thing to keep it in mind when you uh, do it again, if it's a more than half full, like when it's less than half full or half full, you can do it just like this. One, two, but once it's full, so you would need to give yourself a little more room and make move wider. So that way you wouldn't spill. Right, right, right. That's it. Cool. So you're um, just like using the, well, I did that wrong, but you're like using the, the yeah. weight of the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and you will just see if you just do the spin only with neck, beep, you will see a little spill, but we hate them. So we, we don't want to spill anything. That's why you just keep practicing, keep practicing until it's perfect. So now let's say you need to imagine that you're making a cocktail. And of course it starts with a napkin and then you go do all your spirits with a jigger. And now we got to that part. And let's say you already put all your ingredients in the mixing glass. You need to stir them. Right. And I wouldn't recommend to do all tricks in one routine. Of course, you just need to choose one. If you already did napkin, you don't even have to do the rest of the tricks. But if you just maybe haven't done napkin or already show it and thought that yes, seen it, so you want to do something else, you can do tricks with a bar spoon. And this is my favorite uh, bar spoon because it's a really tall one, but you can do it with just a regular like this. This is how you normally would stir, right? So you pour ingredients and then you, you do the stir. First, just let's say, just like the other trick with the, yeah, there you go. There you go, with, with the jigger, just like with the jigger. Just put one spin, there you go. Nice. So when you do it with a long spoon, when you do tricks with a long spoon, it looks so attractive. And here's, let me show it to you first what we can do. This is like, yeah, the basic one, let's say if you keep them here, like on top of your bar and you just like pick it up, you do the spin and start spinning. So you pick it up like that. Yeah. So you, yeah. you would pick yeah. it up like that and then, there you go and, yeah yeah and not do it the way i did it. do it the way you did it. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> do it that well, way it's just not this way here's the key like everything's <laughs> supposed to look natural it's not like uh pick up do the trick and do the steer so it's a very it's like one flow you take it and while you spin it yeah. it's moving from here closer to the glass so this is up. there you go there you go i mean it still needs a lot of work but i only started this a second ago i get kind of yeah. like tripped up like here see like i, I don't like like when I do it, you have this nice flowing movement. Mm -hmm. No, you I like too. get tripped up right there. No, no, you didn't. And then like, like the first one, so that's good. That's well, I was good. trying to do the smile. I was trying to do my <laughs> smile. So you pick it up, boom, really quick, and and that's it. But what you can do, there is few very. There you go. Yeah, while you move with with the motion, with the motion. Like so one, like, two. See, Calm. I feel like it just gets really sloppy right there. I don't know. No, I like it. Maybe I like it a lot. Hard on myself. Here's the thing. So uh, the, this is the very basic one that you can do with, with this spoon or with the small spoon. You just pump and you start uh, stirring. Yes. Yeah. So one and then you do this. But but my favorite trick would be this. If you just place it like, like this, so grab the uh, spoon and you can just push it with your middle finger, pump and then push it with your oh, you're like, yeah. finger and then bring it back to that position. So when you do it fast and smooth, this is this is the trick. One, two, and then you start spinning. So start in position, always, okay, looking that way. There you go. Pump, push, pump, 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 pump. There you go. Yeah, yeah there you yeah, go. Yeah. So it's just, if you do it only half a second faster, you're gonna seriously look better than Tom Cruise already. I'm <laughs> sure <it's okay. laughs> This is the easiest trick. Like. The easiest version of this trick, I mean. You can just uh, hold it like that, the comfortable position for you, because you know how to do this, and now you know how to do that. <laughs> so you, you just do one, do the basic one. One, push and bring it back and start stirring. There you go. But the, the horizontal version just looks smoother and sleeker. So there you go. There yeah. you go. So version number one and version number two. Practice, let me correct. There you go. There you go. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. getting there. When you just uh, try a few times, like let's say holding in this position and then you do one or two, but then start bringing it from the place where you're usually keeping it. So it's more natural. That's why you're like, whoop, and start steering. So the, it's flow, constantly flow. Right. Uh, just want to go flow. from one move to the next, to the right. next move constantly. to the next. Constantly. All you need to learn, just this um, four or five, tricks with all kind of variations. And it's all it takes, like, like just to show it to you with the um, uh, jigger. So we started with uh, just a basic one and then you could do 
the same with two jiggers so you can even do like maybe with little flip this is already like a little variation i wouldn't recommend already to flip. outside of my comfort <laughs> zone there yeah and then you do the same just uh with with uh you see like with a strainer and then only just uh, by doing this uh little flashy tricks it looks very very smooth also uh, i showed you the same trick with bottle then you can do the same trick you see just this two fingers wrist and all variations on the same maybe when you make a mojito you can just do the same with modeler so right. don't forget like all these tricks even with a metal straw you can do with modeler with uh, that's it if you at the bar use scoop that's it why not you just do this put scoop of ice that's that's all you, you can need. do it like, with any you you, you seriously literally do it with any object you can spend only like if one if one drink and a coffee day. you can do it with a coffee <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. soon you'll yeah. go home okay yeah, i can I'm do that flip yeah. it off. <laughs> Let me um, do that's that. awesome i thought that i was going to shoot a video where vlad was going to take me out of my comfort zone and i was going to make a disaster here on the set <laughs> uh but what we actually <laughs> shot was like a pretty like decent working tutorial on flare bartending and like really simple approachable steps I spent a lot of time developing this routine because I saw that students in my early days of training, they were struggling. They just like not happy practicing. I'm like, there's something wrong about it. Right. I gotta come up with a routine that they would feel good about themselves, that they would go next day or in the same day after the training and practice all the tricks at the bar in front of people. Right. Because the biggest child, the biggest obstacle to try something because you're afraid to drop. And I'm like, I need to come up with the tricks that would be just easy to, to right. do. So that's why like this is a thing would be a way to go. The don't try to just uh, do with a shadow pass with like all kind of like this one would be hard and you don't even see the bottle and you're right. just like, wow, there's so much. And then all the balances juggling, you don't need it. Keep it for the competition and keep simplicity for the bar and for your friends. I love it. I love it. Not just a pretty face, guys. And a good <laughs> smile. He, this guy is uh, amazing. He's amazing. I'm glad we did this. So there you have it, guys. This was our very unexpected, very educational. I've learned a lot here. Flair tutorial with Vlad Slick Bartender. Thank you so much for thank you for having inviting me. us here. Thank you for having me. I know yeah. you're having me because I'm in your I'm in your set. I'm on your channel. <laughs> I really appreciate it. This was awesome. Thank you so much.